Imagine, you've just finished your creation and want to share it with the world. You could stand on a soapbox and shout your message. You could publish your article in a traditional journal. A few people can read it and you no longer have control of your own work. Or you could share your work with the world through open access and make a real impact on society. So what is open access? The Berlin Declaration on Open Access to Knowledge in the Sciences and Humanities states that open access is free access to information and the license to copy. That is a mouthful. Let's break it down. Open access means the creators place their work on the internet for public use free of charge and free of most copyright barriers. Anyone can read it, cite it and reuse it. There are several ways to share your work using open access. You can publish via a publisher by following the golden or green road, or you can publish it on your own using a license. When following the golden road, your creation is published via a publisher as an article in a journal or magazine. Work shared via a publisher can cost money. This fee is known as an article processing charge, or APC for short. The APC is to ensure your article receives the same treatment as those articles published traditionally, while allowing publishers to compensate for what they would otherwise make with subscription costs. Sometimes, the published article can then be deposited in your institution's repository, or the repository required by your discipline. Sometimes, versions of the article can be deposited into a repository for future use, even after having been published in the traditional way. This is known as the Open Access Green Road, Versions can be pre-print or post-print, both author's versions or publisher's version. Depositing of one of these versions is usually allowed after an embargo period. An embargo period is the length of time you need to wait before making a version of your article public on the internet. Sherpa, Romeo, gives you a concise description of which version of your article can be deposited and when it can be made public. You can openly distribute your work with a license on your own. Work you share yourself is free of charge. Articles or versions thereof made public without a license can only be read and cited. In order to use the work in education, new research or any other form of reusing the work, a license must be attached. The most commonly used license is a Creative Commons license. Creative Commons licenses, also known as CC, are made up of four building blocks. Buy, share alike, no derivatives and non-commercial use form the foundation of a CC license. Buy is a standard beginning. It means you're free to reuse the work as long as you mention who made it. Share alike means you can reuse the work as long as you share the new work with the same license. No derivatives means nobody can copy, distribute, show or build upon your work unless your work stays in the original form. Non-commercial means your work cannot be used for monetary gain. These four building blocks can make six different licenses. Every license consists of three layers, the legal mumbo-jumbo only lawyers can read, a summary in plain language with the relevant icon for your chosen license, and a machine-readable layer with extra metadata that enables search engines and other applications to find your work. There is also the option of putting your work out for the world to see, without worrying about what others do with it. This is a CCO license and distances you from your copyright entirely, putting your work in the public domain. A fancy word for everyone can do what they like with it. The drive for open access is increasing as governments and funders request that research done with public money is made open to the public. Open access falls under a broader subject of open science. Open science includes throwing open your research, its data and its impact to the public. But why bother? Good question. Here are a few good reasons. By clearly indicating what people can do with your open research, you as researcher won't have to be hassled with giving permission every time someone wants to use your work. They can read it in the license. By sharing your work with a license, way more people have access to it, so the information can be used way more often. By giving people, researchers, scientists and lay people alike the chance to see, build upon and enhance your work, you have the chance of not only educating others, but also increasing the value of your research and helping make the world a better place. Sounds a little too ideal, but it is true.